How's it going, everybody? My name is Jesse. Give over Jesse as you know me. And we, over here, we've got our co host Daniel and special guest Gluk. Today, we're going to be talking about SNES style controller for Nintendo Switch appearing in FCC filing over on Polygon.com. Nintendo may be making a Super NES style wireless controller for Nintendo Switch based on images from a recent filing with the U.S. Federal Communications Commission. The FCC filing was spotted by a member of the Reset Era forums and features a drawing of the back of the wireless device. The silhouette is unmistakably the SNES controller, and the model number and FCC ID include the letters HAC, which is used in Nintendo's model numbers for the Switch hardware and accessories. Nintendo's filing may provide further evidence for the long-rumored addition of Super NES games for Nintendo Switch Online, which currently offers subscribers a growing list of classic NES games. In January, a member of the modding community uncovered evidence of SNES titles for Nintendo Switch Online, including games like Super Mario Kart, Pilot Wings, The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, and Super Mario World. The addition of SNES games for Nintendo Switch Online would be a welcome feature as evidenced by this month's deep cut additions to the service, Kung Fu Heroes and Vice Project Doom. Nintendo currently sells wireless controllers for the Switch based on the design of the NES controller. Those controllers are available exclusively to Nintendo Switch Online subscribers. Do you want me to read that list a little bit? If you want, sure. I think everyone, yeah, just go yeah. ahead. Just, go Polygon ahead, is re <laughs> Polygon has reached out to Nintendo for comments on the filing and will update when the company responds. They are not going to respond because Nintendo wants to wait to announce it themselves yeah. instead of letting Polygon steal their thunder. Oh, baby, Nintendo wants their own clicks. <laughs> so Daniel, <laughs> what happened when like, Nintendo was asked if they would ever release a Nintendo 3DS? This is what they said. No, it's perfect the way it is and nothing will change. Yeah, they literally said guess that. guess what? We had like 800 different types yeah. of 3DS. Yeah, like <laughs> literally like a couple of months later, they're like, hey, here's the Nintendo 3DS. And everyone's like, but Miyamoto, you told us to go ahead and buy a Nintendo 3DS and not worry about a better model coming out. Wait. The company told you to buy their product? Because they said a new iteration, a new revision, a 3DS XL, was never going to release. Yeah. And a few so months later, it did release. Along with, like, six other models. But yes, there was a, um, a while back, they had, like, found some files in the Switch. The Switch is, like, eShop files or something, hinting at Super Nintendo files as the, uh, as the article. Yeah. And it honestly, Super Nintendo games, the Switch controller is just a Super Nintendo controller with thumbsticks and some extra buttons. Like it's, it, they will, it will fit so perfectly. And we got wireless NES controllers already, which work with any game. Having SNES controllers that would work with any Switch title, basically any game where you could use a D pad instead of a thumbsticks. <laughs> Perfect. I want to use my SNES controller now. <laughs> like, I want this. I want this so bad. I love the Super Nintendo. It's one of my favorite consoles ever. And they've got and and the big reason for that is also Super Nintendo games have aged so much more gracefully than NES games in general. <laughs> and some of, some of the best games ever created have been Super Nintendo games, and I want those on my Switch. I don't care if I have to buy it again. I'll buy it as many times. I will buy Super Metroid as many times as it takes. Super Mario World! Wahoo! Seriously. Super Mario World. A Link to the Past. Super Metroid. Super Mario Kart. Donkey Kong Country Trilogy. There's just the list goes on. And the SNES Classic and Earthbound. I can't believe I didn't say Earthbound. The SNES Classic Edition has or the SNES Mini um, has like a, such a great library of games. But if they're able to just like update it and just drip feed us more super nintendo games i will i will be a happy man for the rest of time that's all i'm saying just for, for the rest of time you could just t put liquid dilute super nintendo games into an iv and just stick it in there and just drip feed me super nintendo games forever and i'll like carry it around with me that's my plan Trip. Get on it, Nintendo. Drip. <laughs> Drip. Feed me Drip. SNES titles. <laughs> Drip. Click. Done. Drip it and click it. 
Okay, so that's everything I have to say about this new story, Jesse. What do you what do you gotta say about this? <laughs> yeah, it's so like a quick wrap up of everything is that basically hackers found file names for Super Nintendo games in somewhere in the Nintendo Switch's coding. Mm -hmm. And then now there are filings of Super Nintendo controllers. And uh, before, when, like, these filings released, like, there was a thing for, like, the VR stuff, and everyone's like, Nintendo would never do VR. And even Nintendo themselves was saying VR is not at a point to where it is entertaining Nintendo or fun like, and stuff. We'll never make mobile games, yeah, guys. Yeah, there was even <laughs> those interviews where, like, Nintendo will never make mobile games. Like, they deny everything, even Skyward Sword HD. But we know they are actually making it. Mm -hmm. And like this Super Nintendo thing, like they can deny it, but it's like, it's common sense. Like you did the same thing with the NES. Every like the document for the NES controller leaked. Everyone's like, oh, it's just something that they could come up with or whatever, blah, blah, blah. They're not going to release it. They released it. They came out with the VR filings. Everyone's like, you can't wear a Switch for a headset, it's too big, blah blah blah. And they're like, not only are you going to wear it for a headset, you're going to put a giant <laughs> robot that. cardboard box on and you're going to and you're going to enjoy it. You're going to build a robot suit out of cardboard and strings. <laughs> it's going to take you 8 hours and you are going to enjoy it after paying $80 for it. Yes. And guess that's what? That's how they do. People enjoyed it and they did it when everyone else was like no they're not going to do it so everyone that's ever been like nintendo's not going to do this nintendo went ahead and did it so with this like i just think it's obvious like if someone comes out right now and says nintendo's not going to release super nintendo games on the nintendo switch they deserve to just be smacked for being stupid I'm, I'm honestly i'm just more shocked that they haven't already released super nintendo games the switch is the perfect system for it yeah okay so to end this discussion there's three of us so three games three games that you would like oh. because nintendo releases three games each month for the nes so presumably they're going to replace the three nes releases every month with SNES releases, which is something cool. We may get like the Life of Luxury version of A Link to the Past. The what? Like the the Zelda thing that they did, where they like gave you all the hearts, all the weapons, and everything from the beginning. Oh in, yeah, the like special. Version. Yeah. yeah, in in Japan yeah, yeah, it was yeah. called like uh, the Legend of Zelda Life of Luxury or something like that. Because oh. you had like all the rupees and all the items, so like. Yeah, it was a weird name, but in... That is a weird name. What was it called in the American release? Special. Special? So, it was literally just a link to the past, but you get everything right off the bat. No, no, that's what they did for the original or, Zelda. And Zelda 2. On the NES online service. Like, yeah. you get... Uh, you, it, the uh, Legend of Zelda special, Just you just start the save file off with, like, you have the blue ring, a bunch of money, and, like, a few items already, right off the bat. And, like, yeah. a handful of keys, for some reason. So, yeah. And I guess they figured that, and it's like the same with the, the Metroid special on the NES Online. It's just like you start with the Varia suit and a bunch of extra energy tanks. And for some reason, you start in the middle of um, Norfair instead of in Brinstar, which yeah. is weird, but <laughs> just drops you halfway through the game. Yeah. Like, Go fight Ridley now. It's just started. <laughs> yeah. But since, since they did it with Zelda 1 and Zelda 2, I imagine. Like, after they release Link to the Past on it, like, a few months later, they will release a special edition for a Link to the Past. What um, would be amazing I... if Nintendo was amazing and they loved us, since it is Super Nintendo games, they could release... BS Zelda? The, yeah, all of the BS Zelda games. Like, all, the two or three of them, however many there were. Three, I think. Mm. Just the Satella View SNES games? Yeah. yeah, and the Satella View Mario games and stuff. Because there is like more than just Zelda. But anyways, they could release those. That would be really cool. Um, so anyways, remember, the online games, you can play, like the NES online games, you can play online with your friends. 
so SNES games, there's a lot of multiplayer SNES games. Like they're not just the original games, they re they don't remake them, but they mod them so they work with online. So here's the thing. Super Mario Kart is my first choice. Because Mario you would Kart. be able to play it online. Like the SNES Mario Kart. Imagine playing that online. That would be great. Be a god show. So Luke, would, your turn. I would probably play that for like ten minutes and then go back to Mario Kart Eight. <laughs> I'm, with, I'm with Luke there. I find Super Mario Kart is like, for the time, wow, yeah. awesome. But looking back, I'm like, wow, I keep crashing into walls. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, basically. Curve bra thirteen in the chat. Little thirteen year old says, "Nerds, STFU and sleep." Here's the thing. We get paid for being nerds. So, like, talking about Zelda literally bought my car and helps me support my daughter. So, instead of going around telling nerds to go to sleep because your life is so Wait pathetic, you have nothing else to do, that that's the only Why thing that you can you do. Asleep? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, his life is so pathetic <laughs> dun, dun, dun. that all he can do is go around and try to make fun of other people because he's so disappointed with his own life that the only satisfaction he gets is trying to make other people feel as miserable as he does. Maybe, Or maybe he's like, man, I hate my insomnia so much. I wish I could sleep more. Oh my God, these guys are staying up late talking. Guys, you need to go to sleep. You need some sleep, guys. Yeah. I don't know. It's he, definitely he not He also that doesn't understand time zones because it could be like 4 a.m. where he's at. And it's like not even midnight where you're at, Daniel. So no, like it's not. It's ten thirty. He's even And guess what? I'm an adult man. I can I can go to bed whenever I want. Yeah. That that makes him even stupider than I thought he was. So anyways, Daniel, continue. <laughs> what was I saying? Continuing. Uh some the some thing, nerdy you stuff. You were saying something about Mario Kart. I was just saying Mario Kart would be fun. You guys said you would go on oh, yeah, to Mario yeah. Kart. Oh yeah, no, it's just it's just it hasn't aged as graceful as like my go-to mario kart is either mario kart 8 or 6 yeah. um someone but... in the chat said tetris attack tetris attack any yeah. form of tetris is it had it had mario it was like a mario themed tetris game but it wasn't tetris at all okay whack it was actually really good i liked it but what are some nice. snes games like multiplayer snes games does it have to be multiplayer no, it's, but multiplayer are games that would like you'd be able to play them with your friends. So like at least sure, pick one multiplayer. I don't multiplayer care about game. online games. I just want Super Metroid. <laughs> just, <laughs> just give me Super Metroid. As as John from Game Explained said in a in a video recently, he said, "What's what is the best Super Nintendo game, and why is it Super Metroid?" Oh yeah, I seen that in a tweet. <laughs> It's just the truth. It's it's honestly my favorite. It's the only game I actually enjoy speedrunning. I'll I'll just put that out there. Hey, Joey. Oh, I'll have to give it a try. I've, I've never been a fan of Metroid. I tried playing the original one, and it wasn't that fun to me. Mm, Everybody skip, in the chat, say the original. Give give a huge congratulations to Ferris Will Pro. Yeah. Just just tell him how amazing he is, how beautiful he is, how sexy that beard is how much i just want to lick his ears i mean what Wait, what, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> i i said i see deers this, there, there's that, deers outside the window that, i want okay. to kick the kick the deers they're they're that's everywhere right. don't that's cruelty jesse well that's they what I thought you said. okay peter um, yeah. yeah fbi open up jesse <laughs> uh, i think peter would call and they'd tell you joey to... if you would like you can join on with us like you could literally get on discord right now and join us this is true. Yeah. But yes, Super Metroid is my number one pick. I know I'm even putting it above a link to the past. And that's it's just because like Super Metroid is the kind of game I'm so I'm I'm so into that game. I can pick it up, play it for three hours, 100 percent complete it, set it down, come back and do it again the next day, and it doesn't get old. And in fact I've done that. <laughs> so <laughs> but a yeah. game like uh, like a link to the past, I know it's it's hard for me to put it above that, but I still think a Link to the Past will always be one of my favorite games ever. But Super Metroid, if I'm like, I want to play a Super Nintendo game, 
Super Metroid Soul. Hmm, hands down. There you go. I don't care about the online functionality, except you can have like a leader, build a leaderboard into it with like your your percentage and time, and just like throw it up there. There you go. There's my idea. There's your multiplayer. All right. Nice. Luke, did you, you have another game? Yeah. I I never listed any. Lay it down. <laughs> okay. Give us a uh, game. So the three I would pick would be the. No, you just super... pick one. We we go in turns. Did Daniel list oh. all of his? I just picked one. Okay. And I yeah. Just talked about we're it we're a taking lot. turns. I thought <laughs> all three of us were picking three. Okay. Well, then in that case, I'm picking Super Mario World. It's the only SNES game I like playing. Mm. No, no. Super, super Mario All Stars. No, no just Mario World. <laughs> no, you get a, you, no, you get Super it's a, Mario it's a good World. One. You get Super Mario World, and then you get the remakes of all the others. I don't want to play those. I just want Mario World. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Super Mario World is a good choice. Though, Would you like I just, it? I love that game. Would you like it if they made Super Mario World multiplayer, like, like actual multiplayer, like new Super Mario if, Bros, to where like a, two people are jumping around at the same time? Like new Super Mario Brothers, kind of like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. but it's just like Super Mario Super World. Yeah, but, yeah, but it's just Super Mario World, yeah. I would like that, and at the same time, I wouldn't like that, because I like going my pace, and everyone that I play with is super slow, and I hate that. I just want to grab them, throw them off the cliff, so I can speed through the level. <laughs> but, uh, just get the cape and just... <laughs> yeah, that's what I do. Especially when I get into Donut Hill, I just get a cape power-up, and then I just fly over the course, and I skip everything, because I don't want to deal with enemies. Well, and uh, yeah, and honestly, only to the past, it's not even in my like, top ten Zelda games. So I'm, I'm oh. just saying, I'm just saying. Wow. So Mario World is gonna be words. Mario World, Mario World is, is good. It's my favorite Mario game. That, and... That's got no Mario World is like in my top three Mario games. That it's my favorite SNES game. So that's, okay, that's, that's what I would say. The thing is, like you said, like it's the only SNES game that you haven't played, but you also said you haven't played Super Metroid, so <laughs> I'm gonna still take it as a win. <laughs> and you skip the original Metroid, play Super Metroid, and then just have your mind melt in your head, except okay. in a good way. I'll check it out. Everyone says Super right. Metroid is the right. best. It okay. is good. And this isn't a nostalgia bias, because for me, like A Link to the Past, I fully know that is a nostalgia bias for me. Super Metroid I played for the first time in 2015. So that is, that is not a nostalgia bias for me. It is just honestly that good. Okay. So, okay. Mm -hmm. Love to check it out. Okay. Yeah. Jesse, what is your number two? Okay. So for some reason, I was thinking that Super Mario RPG was on Super Nintendo. It is. Yeah. Okay. It is. For some reason, like, I pictured the game in my head, and it was, like, an N64 cart. And I'm like, that's not right. It was Like, if it was on Nintendo 64, it would have looked a lot better. <laughs> it would have, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was Super Nintendo. And Yeah, I think I got that... it confused with Paper Mario yeah, 64. Yeah, yeah Mario. Paper Mario and Mario and Luigi were so, inspired from that game. Yeah, so I would get Actually, Super Mario. Paper Mario's working title was Super Mario RPG 2. Yeah. Two. yeah. So mm -hmm. I would I would go with uh, Super Mario RPG as mine, and I would That's love for one. it to be multiplayer. But that's so like being an RPG uh, like that. How would they do multiplayer? Like you would ha you, like each take control of a party member, or yeah, like how would you, you could have two it? people walking around on the map, right. and then whenever it goes into like the fighting mechanic, it's just like instead of you controlling everyone, like you get to pick your character's move, and the other person gets to pick their character's move. Like mm. there's RPGs that do it, uh, yep. so so it's like the two player in Pokemon Let's Go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so okay, okay. All right, my number two it's gotta be Earthbound because speaking of RPGs, that game is wicked. That's another game that it's like mind melting. Earthbound, Super Metroid is like the masterclass in game design. Earthbound is the opposite. Earthbound is the game that throws game design out the window and is just a piece of art itself. That is my firm belief that that game is, is not a masterclass in game design. There's some flaws in the games. There's some really good game design choices. Mostly, Earthbound is just a frankly great piece of art, and which is what video games, video games are should be art. So 
that's my number two choice. Earthbound is another one of the Super Nintendo games I continually go back to. It's just bueno. <laughs> so that's all I gotta say about that. I could gush for hours if left unchecked. So Luke, your number two. Number two would probably be um, Link to the Past because that's all I play on the SNES is <laughs> Mario, Mario Link to the Past. Mario World sounds and like Link to my the childhood past. until I got an that's, N64. That's literally if I ha- if I had a Super Nintendo, that would be all I play. And mm-hmm. maybe, maybe actually no, I'll save that for the third game. Never mind. Touche, but also a good choice. I mm. yeah. As I mentioned, because, I love A Link to the Past to bits. Because I have a lot of gripes with Link to the Past, but I still think it's a really good game, so I'd pick that. I'd love to hear your gripes. <laughs> but then that might also break my heart. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh, geez. no. All, All right. right, Jesse, take uh, us away. Secret of Mena? Oh. No, 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 no. Illusion of Gaia. Illusion of Gaia, okay. Also, one of the two. Okay. Okay. Have you I'm guys into- ever played Illusion of Guy? I have not. I don't even know what that is. It's a game. It's like a a Link to the Past ripoff. Is how <laughs> I looked at it. Isn't it an RPG though? Yeah. But Link to the Past is not an RPG. No. It has elements. But the the character designs and everything is like, and the world design is just like a Link to the Past. Mm. That's what. But that's how I put good. it. I was like, "This is good. It's not a link to the past, but I'll play it." Cool. Yeah. Sorry. Cool. It. Nothing. I know nothing it too is exciting. A well-reviewed game. It is actually. I've heard good. Except you just called it a ripoff. <laughs> You're like, this is this is my number three choice. Well, it's, for it's <laughs> like all Super Nintendo no, games. No, so it's it's um it's like um. Yeah. I always forget the name of it. They were supposed uh, to come on for an interview like a thousand times, but we ended up like not having them on a thousand times because we can never pick out an exact date. The composer guy? No. Chica Witch. No, the. Developers that made the Zelda like game. Oh, the the Castle Pixel. Yeah. Well, that made um. Uh, the name of the Blossom game. Tales? Yeah, I keep forgetting it. Blossom Tales. It's a Zelda ripoff. So good. It's but so it's good, an amazing though. game. It's Zelda inspired. Yeah. It's a good game. It's really it, good. It's a great game. It's it's the best a Link to the Past like game there is. Better than Illusion of Gaia. But it's not a Super Nintendo game. <laughs> no, no. True. But it kind of looks like one, sort of. But it looks like one, too. Anyways, uh, that was my last one. Daniel, what's your one last? was going to be A Link to the Past, but Luke took it. So, I must choose instead Donkey Kong Country. Number one. Because my backup to A Link to the Past was also going to be Super Mario World, but <laughs> Luke took that one. So, Donkey Kong Country, number one. I, I know Don- a lot of people think Donkey Kong Country 2 is the peak of that trilogy, but there's a place in my heart, Donkey Kong Country 1, I like it a little more. Even though, like, objectively, I can look at the two games and be like, yeah, that game's probably the better one. There's, you know, just sometimes, yeah, it's probably nostalgia, let's be honest. But <laughs> I like Donkey Kong. I like Donkey Kong games. They're like brutally hard platformers, which are fun. The music, the art, everything, it's just beautiful. Bueno, again. Bueno, again. <laughs> Perfecto. Mwah. Yes. Oh, okay. I think that is a tough choice of all Super Nintendo games, but yeah. Luke. Luke, final, three. All right. final thing. We gotta cool, do the, the cool YouTuber snappy intro. Ooh, number three! <laughs> like... <laughs> <laughs> number three! <laughs> okay, so I don't really play any SNES games other than those two. <laughs> so I would, so if I had to pick a third one, I would say Nintendo brings Mother 3 to NA. But that's a GBA game. Yeah. Is it? I thought it was. 
Yeah. No, see, here's the thing. It started as a Super Nintendo game, went to a Nintendo 64 disk drive game, went to a Nintendo 64 cartridge game, went to a Game Boy Advanced game. Yeah, it was a mess of a development. Okay. But okay. It could run on a Super Nintendo, which has a better sound chip anyways, so... <laughs> Because uh, I was going to say it looks like a Super Nintendo game. I thought it was one. Okay, yeah. never mind. They, okay. I think no, they it, made it, it to look well as be. much like the original as possible. I think that was the plan, was just well, keep, it, keep the same art style as Earthbound. If Mother. not Mother 3, then I would probably pick... Uh, that's a great question. I don't know like any SNES games. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know any. Uh, Final Fantasy, I guess. Six, I guess, was the one that was on SNES. Whichever one's on Super Nintendo. <laughs> I think it's six. <laughs> I can't. I don't play. There's probably like a couple of them that are, but I'm pretty sure. I know for sure six is. Okay. I can't I've heard it's a good one. I have not played it, though. Just like I haven't played Mother 3. Right. That's a good pick. It's a good pick. Okay. So, so to Super recap, Nintendo, hold up, hold up, hold up. So, speaking of Super Nintendo, I gotta say this real quick. I yes. did not understand why Nintendo was like, you guys can't play Super Nintendo games on the 3DS. It's not powerful enough. And yet, the new 3DS played. The, the, but 3DS ambassadors could get Game Boy Advance games. I have 10 Game Boy Advance games on my 3DS because I'm an ambassador. Yeah. And Those the, things are like the Game hmm. Boy Advance had a 32-bit processor, which is literally twice like the 16-bit processor of the Super Nintendo. So yeah, it is really yeah. weird. So they said that, and also um, a lot of modders have just modded the normal 3DS, and they were like, "Nintendo, what are you talking about? This is fine. Look at look at all these S S Super Nintendo games running fluently on your system," and they're like. What are you talking about? That doesn't make any sense. You can't do that. No, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. And they just they just ignored it. And they're like, they want to sell you a new 3DS. All right. And get Daniel. your clicks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. To get the clicks. Go to. Uh, do you got your phone? I have it. OK, go to the reviews. We're going to do that part now. We're going to do the reviews. Yeah. Luke, oh, do, do you have, have iTunes? Do we have new ones? Yeah. Nope. I do not have iTunes. Wait, do you have screenshots of these? Uh, I can never yeah. find the reviews on iTunes. I don't know how to do things. I'll just do it like this. Okay. This All is right. the behind the scenes part, guys, where we're going to edit this part out. <laughs> Probably not. Uh, <laughs> Probably not. All right, I'm just going to entertain the audience. No, here they I are. Okay, Let's so okay. let me see. I think I have it written. Do I have it written? Yeah, see, whenever I try and pull up the reviews, this is what happens. It shows me that there's five star rating, and then it shows me <laughs> yeah. I hit see all, and there's nothing there. All right, so hello, everyone. Welcome to the Hylian Gamescast. Now, <laughs> hello, everyone. Yep. Welcome to the Hylian Gamescast. I'm, I can't do it. I just, I just can't. I stole your intro. I'm sorry. It's yeah. Luke turned into game over Jesse says, earlier. Yeah. Luke, tell me, tell me who I am. Luke, am I Luke? Am I Luke? Am I Jesse? Yeah. You are Jesse. Game over Jesse, as uh, they all know you. All right. Ah. And comment below to let us know what type of videos you would like to see us create in the future. And if you would really like to support all of us here at the Game Over Jesse channel, please consider purchasing a Game Over Jesse t-shirt or becoming a Patreon at patreon.com slash gameoverjesse, where you can receive many rewards, such as getting shoutouts, having any topic or theory that you select discussed on the podcast or made into its own video, having your question answered, joining on as a guest on the podcast, and playing with us during our Twitch live streams at twitch.tv slash gameoverjesse, and much, much more. 